Detailed biblical chronologies and genealogies report that a worldwide flood wiped out humanity about 4,500 years ago. The earth was then repopulated by Noah's three sons and their wives. More than a month ago, I made a video that used high quality DNA sequence data to develop a human Y chromosome genetic clock that matches up perfectly with the Bible's timeline of modern human origins. I will leave a link on the top right corner if you want to see that video. Well now, the same researcher has shown that human population growth curves over the past few thousand years match up with both the new Y chromosome data and biblical event chronology. Evolutionary speculation alleges that modern humans didn't arise until our ancestors migrated out of Africa, between 100 and 200,000 years ago. However, a number of secular and creationist research studies analyzing a variety of DNA clocks have indicated a far shorter timescale of no more than 5 to 10,000 years. But what about human population growth? Does it match up with these Bible-based timelines and the new genetic data? As it turns out, secular scientists and creationists generally agree on the basic events and population growth models for the past 3,000 years. But when dates get beyond this, there are discrepancies in their models. Dr. Nathaniel Jensen was determined to see how population growth would match up with splits in lineages in Y-chromosome genetic clock data. This was possible because this type of genetic data can be analyzed in a tree-like structure. Along this line of reasoning, a biblical timescale predicts that the last 4,500 years of human population growth should be reflected in the branching events of human lineages in the Y chromosome tree data. And interestingly, the population growth and Y chromosome data also appear to fit well with specific shifts in population structure in ancient history, such as the global famine described in the Bible during the life of Joseph as a ruler in Egypt in the later chapters of Genesis. A global famine would dramatically stunt population growth and be detected in genetic branch analysis. In regards to the importance of these new results, Jensen told the Institute for Creation Research staff, this adds a second independent line of evidence to confirm the recent origins of the human race. It preemptively rebuts evolutionary attempts to circumvent the first line of evidence, and it strengthens the initial creationist conclusions. I agree, this new study isn't only a dismissal of evolutionary speculation, but a strong confirmation for mankind's recent origins. You see, the more discoveries we make, the more we step into the truth of God's word, the Bible. The more we earnestly learn about the world around us, the more we can see the handiwork of God in creation. Jesus Christ is not only the way and the truth, but also the life, and in Him alone is eternal life. Thanks for watching everyone and may you all have a blessed day.